Yo, I want to have a conversation today with you all about the new support frame auto rifle that I pray to God Bungie does not nerf in any capacity here in Destiny 2. This baby, no hesitation, has opened up Pandora's box in regards to what Bungie can actually create and drop into this game. I mean, I have fallen in love with this thing, especially through uh, the legendary campaign, rocking out with my homies, especially some of my homies that are a little bit more aggressive, for lack of a better terms. I have the opportunity to keep them in the midst and allow for them to sword away, shotgun away, you name it. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what a support frame is, check this out. So support frames, gosh, I cannot talk. Support frames are flexible and agile frames capable of healing allies and hurting foes. Harming targets build a restorative charge. Hit firing at allies with this weapon, or excuse me, while this weapon is charged, heals them with rapid healing, increasing weapon damage and bestowing restoration to your allies. Yo, again, I cannot stress enough how helpful this is, especially with some of the perks uh, that you can acquire on on this auto rifle so of course I'm going to craft this thing because it is craftable right don't get it twisted this baby is craftable and I will do so at some time but this roll I have here is incredible I don't know if you would call it a goat roll or a god roll or whatever but this baby is nice so I'm rocking out in the trait three and four columns I got physic right here where rapidly healing allies grant restoration to you and your allies so if I'm healing one teammate I can heal myself and this thing procs really quick as well as heal uh, the other ally that I have next to me you know it's incredible there so it keeps everybody healthy and then incandescent is of course we all know how incandescent gets down scorching everybody creating ignition so it's really good when it comes to ad clearing and building up that restorative charge at the snap of a finger you know this baby right here single-handedly allows for me to keep my homies in the mix like I alluded to earlier. A lot of my homies, and I'm sure you all have friends like this as well, can get active. And when I mean active, I mean, yo, real active. I mean, barrel stuff and bosses, you know what I mean? I now have the opportunity to keep them healthy as well as wreak havoc on the battlefield. If I'm focused on playing anchor, right, and I'm taking care of ad control, I can clean up some ads here and there, build up that restorative charge, turn to the homies because I know one of them is getting slammed upon keep them healthy so that they don't get double slammed and they don't get I almost said wiped they're not getting wiped but just so that they don't get erased off the face of existence I can keep them healthy for the most part keep them fighting and again with this role in particular I'm not only keeping them healthy but I'm keeping myself healthy and I'm also keeping those around me healthy so again this thing is literally a cheat code in a 600 rpm frame or not frame a 600 rpm category now, if we're talking drawbacks of a weapon like this, I can't say that there really are many, you know, like other than you are pretty much cemented to like that healer or support role, there really aren't many drawbacks at all, right? Like you don't really get to be in the forefront of combat, you know, if you are and you go down, then now your teammates are like, yo, we don't have like a, a healer. And the fact I'm even saying that you have a healer in Destiny 2, is kind of crazy but i digress there you know again when you go down like your teammate now no longer have another means to heal outside of their own healing nades or proccing devour or creating their own cure restoration things like that right they can do that for themselves but again they don't have that extra layer of support and that does suck so again you do got to play back a little bit you can be aggressive at some points but for the most part remember that you are a foundation for the team whether if you're in a fire team of three six whatever you are the foundation foundation there or you are one of the foundations remember your life does matter a lot and if you go down uh you could be handicapping your squad but truth be told if you don't mind being that anger kind of sitting back a little bit then again this thing really does not have many drawbacks if at all you know as a titan main in this day and age i'm already brainstorming ways of how i could bring acting war rig into the mix and make it so i get unlimited rounds unlimited heals keep everybody healthy and shred these minions of darkness like no other you know and if I don't brainstorm a build on my own accord, I know it's only a matter of time until somebody out there on the internet will create an Actium War Rig build that is ridiculous, and I'm going to definitely bring it into the mix, no doubt about it. With this all being said though, I really appreciate Bungie's creativity here in bringing a weapon like this to fruition, you know? Also like the, the, the balls you gotta have to create something like this, right? Like it's, it's incredible. Shout out to them for not being afraid to take a chance here and create something like this. And I really hope Bungie continues to extend their creativity like they've done here. I only can commend it. I only can commend it. 
But with that being said, what do you all think about No Hesitation if you had the chance to try it out? Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what roles you're rocking. Let me know what roles you've crafted. All of the above down in the comments below. Thank you all so much for coming and watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace!